your success in life ultimately will be defined by the relationships that you build and the relationships that you cultivate and the relationships that you invest your time into. Now, the relationships that I have that are great, they push me forward and the relationships that I have not developed or that I have let slide for yeah. periods of time, I know are not good. And so that's, it's, it's crazy to me to think that, you know, you've got a calendar and you've got all this stuff that you got to do, you got to do, you got to do, you got to do. Why wouldn't you just add those into your calendar? Like to me, it doesn't make it any less important that I reached out to this particular friend right. because it was on my calendar to do so. It just means that I made it a priority it and I knew myself well enough to know that I had to put it in my calendar to reach out to my grandmother or right. reach out to my, you know, friend or reached out to whoever you got to put those things in your calendar and so i think that's a that's an important lesson when we talk about relationships that it's not just take 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 it's giving with the understanding that you're going to need it at some point and that there's people around you that are going through stuff yeah, that's an extreme example of pain but there are people in this room that are going through something that could be equally as painful to them right this second and so what are you doing on a daily basis with the relationships that have been put in front of you to pour into them and to be that ear that that shoulder to lean on so that later down the road when you go through something they're going to be there for you the thing about building and cultivating a real relationship is that it is not selfish right like how many relationships do you know that were successful where it was completely one-sided? None, none. I am 100% all in on relationships and building relationships because that's the key to success because it's the key to fulfillment is in building relationships. And at the end of the day, when you're laying on your deathbed, it'll be the relationships that mattered, right? That's how you build a life that you ultimately want is by the personal connections, the personal relationships, and there's nothing easy or quick about how you build those. It takes time, it takes effort, and it takes opening up to those things that you maybe are hiding back or holding back from. Opening up about those areas of your life that maybe no one knows, but by sharing those things, you create the space for them to be able to share their stuff and then you are connected for life. The relationships that I want to focus on are the ones that I'm intentional about and the ones that are mutually beneficial in growing one another and pushing one another and challenging one another and you know talking about you know uncomfortable things, difficult things, talking about you know someone that I can you know talk about my struggles but also someone I can uh, celebrate with.